I'm standing here at the Sonderborg Hospital, where we have just been inaugurating uh, our new uh, uh, Danfoss-powered heat pumps, which are basically uh, powering the hospital for the cold part and for the hot part. And with that, the hospital will be more or less independent 80-90% of the year and will save 12,500 megawatt hours of energy. Um, I'm very proud to show this because this is a fantastic scenery. I don't know if you can see that here, but there is uh, heat pumps which also have a good design. They have low noise, they have no vibration, and they use all the energy which is created in the hospital, reuse it, and finally uh, take uh, part in decarbonizing the whole hospital. And the reason I'm also very proud is that we can now carry a lot of people to Sonneborg and show them how every single hospital in the world can do the same. Yeah, the process started actually uh, from Hamburg contacted me that because they knew that uh, uh, the hospital has done a lot of renovation here and they were increasing say, the comfort cooling at the hospital. So we could have continued how we normally, how they normally do it, building up a new chiller and then waste you can say the energy on the condenser side to the ambient. But then we came up with the idea, maybe we could utilize this, this energy instead from the MR scanners, from the comfort cooling, and use it to heat up the hospital. And this here can actually provide heat enough for the hospital nine months of the year. And in the same time, we can deliver heat to Sonnebor, the town of Sonnebor. So then we have to top up a little bit with district heating in the cold, coldest months, but it, overall we produce more energy than we use. I don't know how many hospitals we have in the world, but I guess it's uh, millions, and uh, many of them are still uh, powered by, uh, uh, by fossil fuels. By, uh, I can just take Hamburg as an example. There is a big power plant in Eppendorf Klinikum. Uh, looks like a real power plant because the Klinikum has 30, 40,000 people working there. They have a parallel running air conditioning system. So they have two grids, which you could basically combine and use the waste from the one for the other one, which is currently being discussed, but you can essentially do that in every single hospital in, in the world. So there is a huge business potential for heat pumps for the whole industry, and of course, I'm mostly interested also for Danfoss. Decarbonization is a simple word, but decarbonization today uh, means that you need to have collaboration between different parties. Here in uh, the Sonderbach Hospital, we have the Sonderbach Hospital who wants to have an innovative solution. We have uh, the re region, Süd Denmark, who is decarbonizing. So they are having the money, giving the money for such a project. You need someone who can build a very nice looking innovative heat pump. And you need for sure someone who has a component to do that and the knowledge, the application knowledge. And that all is co collaboration. If you then add also the uh, Fernwärme, uh, so this is district heating, right? Uh, utility here in Sonderborg, then you have a full solution. And this is only possible if all the parties collaborate, if they work together. And that is what we call sector coupling to reach decarbonization.